All right. Well, we're going to do our first welcome introduction in Mary Kay. This is kind of called Pink Boot Camp, you know, number one, just to go over some of the basics since you've signed your agreement and since your starter kit has arrived, you're just ready to get rolling on those first things to do. So I have two pieces of paper in front of you. One is called New Consultant Training, Start Something Beautiful. And this sheet I have made up to go right along with Mary Kay's training magazine, Start Something Beautiful. Um, you'll find that in your starter kit, and it's really nice because it is laid out as a really enjoyable magazine to read. So I want you to read it cover to cover, but I want you to know that this lines up right along with it because it's going to tell you some prizes that you can win, some first initial challenges that we give new consultants to do, and they're going to walk you right down on this sheet. So I'm going to review the sheet with you just real quickly. So on page nine, it just shows the first steps. I'll flip to it at the same time. So first steps to get going in your business. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it helps you to set up your office, tells you to, to attend unit meetings, to go to the Mary Kay In Touch website. Um, do you know your consultant number? Know what it is? Do you know what yours is? Okay, not that, memorized yet. That's all yeah, right. I know where it's, where it's at. Okay, great. So Mary Kay, because there may be way more than one, you know, Megan Karst or way more mm -hmm. than one Michelle Bullock in the Mary Kay world. There's more than one in Huntington County. Yeah, absolutely. They know us by an assigned number. Like mine is K61179. Right. So yours is going to be, you know, four letters or four numbers and two letters. And that's going to be your number. So right. you log on to www, and I have that on the sheet right yeah. there, www.marykayintouch. That is our In Touch webpage. That's what you'll refer to for all kinds of ongoing information. Yeah, That's where you'll there. go to place an order. Okay, great. So when you go there, you log on with your consultant number, and then you get to pick a password. Right, I did And that. so you assigned your password. Wonderful. Have I you done that to yet? I do that, and then it wanted me to, like, I wouldn't accept my social security number. Okay, so we either need to call the 1-800 number for Mary Kay, and this is good to know. Write this down at the top of your paper, 1-800-272-9333. This is customer service at Mary Kay. So at any time when something doesn't work, you just dial that number and say, I'm trying to create my password. I'm a brand new consultant. I'm not getting it to go through. Help. And they'll walk you through it. <laughs> Okay. I might have been, I was checking my status. Okay. So it might have not been the same. It might not process. have been at the same place. Okay. So, okay, well, great. Well, that's the first thing to know is to know your consultant number, and then that's when you get on your webpage and you can um, enter your password, and then you're free to roam. Now, when you log in, I love it that Mary Kay kind of, on my page, there's six boxes, six colorful boxes that are like the hot and happening things to do in the company. As a brand new consultant, one of your boxes is a reminder of all the specials that are going on, that you get 50% off a website, that you get to enroll so many names free, you know, for a brochure, that you get some free business cards. They're just all different kind of things, and they'll even change at times, but they're freebies. And then when you do it, it'll give a little check mark or say, 20% of your freebies are done, or 40% of your freebies are done, or 60% of your freebies. So the first thing I want you to know is take advantage of all the freebies. So um, check that out next time you're on the web page. Now, page 10 talks about our customers. In Mary Kay, one of the first questions I find is, how do we you know, find customers as we're starting this business? This article is really good because it's going to help you brainstorm. And you literally can right here start listing all the people that you know so you can create your working list of who do you want to start your business with? Who do you share it with? And it gives you categories to help you brainstorm. Start with your mother and your mother-in-law or close personal friends, sisters, aunts, cousins, and you just go through it. And then add coworkers or college friends. Okay, so I just want you on page 10 to build your prospective customer list. And I even write on my sheet here another, you know, acronym that I have used is Frank. F-R-A-N-K. Add all your friends. R stands for relatives. 
A stands for acquaintances, N stands for neighbors, and K stands for people we know through our kids. And so that's a few more categories than what they have here on page 11, but just keep writing names down. And I mean, keep writing names down till you get 50, till you get 100. I want you to think of this like it's your wedding invitation list. <laughs> like, who would you invite, you know, to your wedding? Everybody, everybody. Well, that's who you want to tell that you're a brand new Mary Kay beauty consultant. Everyone. So just keep brainstorming names. Even when you run out of room here, grab another piece of paper and just keep writing them all down because that's who we'll invite to your grand opening, your first kickoff party, so that way we get you off to a great start. The next one is page 12. And this talks about goal setting and time management. So one of your first prizes that you can do is when you fill out a weekly plan sheet, you'll get a Mary Kay business card holder. Now what is a weekly plan sheet? It is nothing more than um, a review of your week. What does your week look like? Michelle, I'll use you as an example because you clean houses. And you just told me that you clean houses on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So on the weekly plan sheet, we literally cross out the days that you work, mm -hmm. so that way we know those aren't available Mary Kay times for you to work your business. So Megan, you're a college student, <laughs> so you would literally take the weekly plan sheet and you'd go through and you'd mark off all your class times. And then also on the weekly plan sheet, you can mark off any other commitments that you have, whether you're babysitting grandkids, whether you're going to church or chapel or Bible study, whether you're playing a softball game, you know, whatever it is, you mark off all the commitments. And what's so nice about it is when you're all done, you see the holes. And then when I sit down to work my Mary Kay business, I know when I can work. Mm -hmm. And so that way, I'm in charge of my schedule. I call somebody up to see if they'd like a facial or if they'd like to hold a party for me. And I ask, you know, when they would like to do it, I already know when I'm available. How so, Katie so easily says, hey, I have this day, this day, and this day. That's right, because she's in charge of her calendar. Oh, she's yeah. good. And so then you never get into the bind of, you know, somebody <clears throat> saying, well, I'm free on Tuesday night. I can immediately say, oh, I'm not free on Tuesday night. I do my Mary Kay sales meeting every Tuesday night. That's mm -hmm. always a work night for me. Mm -hmm. what, what's your next best date? You know, and I can work around my schedule and I can be in charge. Or, you know, I, I have three teenagers. So I have, you know, tennis matches and sports activities and varsity senior events, all the things that the kids are involved in. You know, I keep those on my calendar so that way I don't overbook and miss out on family stuff. So you fill out your first weekly plan sheet. You'll find it right there on lynda-gates.com. That's our unit um, and Carly's unit, you know, website, and then you can click on training, and then you can click on time management, and you'll find weekly plan sheet. Fill it out and show me what one of your weeks is like, and you'll find that most of your weeks have a pattern of repeating. I know some weeks will be different. We'll have a haircut or we'll have a dentist appointment, you know, but just, you know, let's just do this week or next week. And then you got a free business card holder for your Mary Kay business. Next, we'll look at page 14. This is money management. So in Mary Kay, you're in this company because we want to show you how to make money. So there is a great way to track this. This is our paperwork in Mary Kay. These two forms. This is called a sales receipt, or I like to nickname it a pink ticket because it's pink. And this is the weekly accomplishment sheet. This summarizes everything that we've sold during the week here on one piece of paper. And then I know what you ended up doing for the total week. So, and these are your only two financial pieces of paper in Mary Kay that you need to do. So, for example, to fill out a sales ticket, what you need to do is on the very top line, write their name. So let's make up an, an example as we go along. So write your name on the top line. And we have the profile card that they fill out when they're at a skincare class. The profile card, we get their complete information, their address, their email, their birthday, and then all the questions about their skin. And what's nice about the profile card, girls, is it's a carbon. So underneath, it's a cheat sheet. So on the top page, 
It says, for example, on number four, minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. But look on the bottom, under four, it says, time-wise, age-fighting skincare. You know how many times I've filled one of these out? And, and you never knew know. that? Because this is for the consultants. So because as a brand new consultant, <laughs> you may be thinking, oh, she checked the box for, look under number six, diminish dark circles and eliminate puffiness around the eyes. She checked that box, but what do I recommend to her? Look under number six, targeted action eye revitalizer. Okay? Yes. So it is so nice. The company has prepared new consultants to feel confident about selling products. So anytime you get a new customer, the first thing I do is give them this and say, I need you to fill this out for my records. Name, address, all your information. I want the birthday and everything. Email, you know. I even like to ask them now, are you on Facebook? And I even have them write their Facebook, you know, name because... A lot of Facebook names have a middle name or have right. a maiden name, mm -hmm. and they're hard to find. Mm -hmm. So I even get their Facebook name because I have a group for my Mary Kay customers. So that way I can just do specials and sales for them. So this is their profile card. So we know what their skin type is and what products to put on them. And then this is their sales receipt. So do you need to duplicate the address on here? No, because you really should have their address on file here. Right. Is this in our starter kit as well? Yes. You these. got a bundle of these and a bundle okay. of these in your starter kit. Okay. Yep. Everything in your starter kit is so you're prepared to do your first 30 faces. Okay. So there's at least 30 of these in there. Okay. Yep. So when you're filling out your sales receipt, I just put the name on the top line. I don't need to duplicate the address and stuff again if I've had them fill it out on here. If for some reason you don't know that information, then absolutely have them fill it out. The next most important thing on here is the date. Make sure every time you sell something, you date it so you know. And so today's date is 9-17, so you know, write that on the date line. And then next, in the pink boxed area, we're gonna make up, you know, what we just sold. And tonight at our unit meeting, we're talking about time-wise repair. So let's sell, you know, one of the repair items. And so we'll write down a quantity of one and then time-wise repair the night. Let's say they wanted to buy the night product. That product retails for $50. So 50 would go under price and 50 would go under amount since the quantity was just one. If that is all that they bought, you know, then we figure up sales tax. In Indiana right now, sales tax is 7%. So seven times 50 would be $3.50. So then we write $3.50 on the sales tax line and we total it up. So the total cost would be $53.50. Does that make sense? How to figure sales tax? Seven times 50. Yep, 0 0.07 times 50. Or if you have the percent button on your calculator, you could go 50 times 7 and then hit the percent button. So however you like to do it, either 7% or 0 .07. And that's how you figure sales tax. Okay? Let me tell you how sales tax works in the company. Um, whenever we order products, we pay for the sales tax up front to the company. And then when we sell the products to our customers, the customers pay us back the sales tax. Oh, cool. So it becomes a wash. So all the products that I have at home on my shelf, I've already paid the sales tax for. But I'll recoup that sales tax mm -hmm. money when I sell it to my customers. Now because of that, I don't have to do any forms with the state of Indiana on sales tax. You know, because of that, when you sell this night, you know, product, you don't have to set aside $3.50 to send into the state of Indiana at the end of the year. No, no, no. Mary Kay takes care of all of those forms for us. So that is wonderful. So this sales receipt is done. She can choose to pay cash, check, MasterCard, Visa, Discover, you know, a little of this, a little of that, doesn't matter. If she chooses to pay cash, great, $53.50. I like to keep a money bag that just has some ones and some change, a few fives, a 10 in it, so I can make petty cash 
If not, I'm running to my kids' wallets to make change, <laughs> which is common too. Um, if they write a check, they write a check to Linda Gates. They write a check to you. You are the owner of your business. If they pay with MasterCard, Visa, or Discover, you've got a spot right up here for the 16 digits of the card, and you have to have the expiration date. There's also the box for the three-digit code on the back. We currently don't need that, but you can gather all the information at once while you're doing it. And just a side note to help you remember, there's a place if, to ask if it's a Visa, MasterCard, or Discover, and you can circle which one it is. Um, if it's a Visa, it'll start with a four. If it's a MasterCard, it'll start with a five. And if it's a Discover, it'll start with a six. Sometimes you forget to ask and then you go to process the card and they ask you, which one is it? And so all visas start with a four, MasterCards are a five, and Discovers are a six. And then that's all the information you need. What's an American Express? An American Express. Um, Mary Kay just added that. Um, it's actually a 13-digit number, so you'll actually not need the last three boxes. And it's different. I don't know what the starting number is on American Express. So well, it's, do you if, know if it's only 13? But it's only 13 digits. It's then. shorter. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you'll know it. So down in the bottom corner, you'll see that this says Beauty Consultant Copy. This is your copy for your records. You keep this copy. But underneath of it, you'll have another copy. Underneath of it, it'll say customer copy. That is what you tear out and give to the customer with her products, and that is her official receipt. All right? I like to sometimes, um, I use the second copy. If somebody um, pays, does a partial payment, and they're like, oh, can I give you half down now and give you the other half on my next paycheck? And if it's somebody I know, I'll work with them on that. Mm -hmm. And so then I like to keep this receipt as a reminder that somebody still owes me money. So that is your pink ticket. So then you finish up your paperwork by anything you sold in the week, summarizing it on here. So then you would literally put the day's date, 9-17, the person's name, what they bought, and then you have different categories under sales. Was it a skincare class or a facial? That's the first copy. Was it an on-the-go appointment? That kind of means um, I was stopping by their house to drop off products, and yet I wanted to show them a, a few of the new things, you know, and so we did some colors on the back of their ha hand, and it turned into kind of an on-the-go appointment. Um, an online or a web order. Maybe they just ordered from your website. Maybe it was a show, like a grand opening that we're going to do for you for your brand new kickoff, you know. Or the last one, a preferred customer program, you know, miscellaneous reorder, which that's going to be a lot of your sales. You know, someone's fallen in love with the product and they need another one of it. And they just call you up and say, can I get another cleanser? And so you put the amount of it there. So let's say that's what happened in this case. It was just a reorder. So we put $50 for that repair night cream under the preferred customer program column, reorders, and then under the sales tax column, we put the $3.50. And then you'll have multiple lines for what you've sold during the week to other people, and when you're all done, you add it up and you put the total right here. All right? Then I just take my pink copy of this with all the other ones that I've done that week, and I just staple it to the back of it, and then I've got my backup that shows, you know, yep, I sold $300 this week, and it came from this order, this order, this order, and this order. Okay? And so at the end of the year, you would literally have one of these for every week. So if you've been in business the full year, you'd have 52 pieces of paper. With you girls just coming into the company in September, you know, you're going to have 10 or 12 of these by the end of the year. Do you have a question? Um, the first quarter of the box where it says time invested, number of calls yeah. guessed. Yeah. Those are all good things. So if I sat down and did a facial with you, Megan, mm -hmm. maybe it took one hour. So under time invested, I would put one. One hour. And now how many people did I do? The number of calls or guests. If it's just a one-on-one -on -one facial, I did one face. If I did a mother-daughter, it would be two faces. Or if it was a party and there were six ladies around the table, it would be six. Okay. 
number of orders. How many different people placed an order? How many different pink tickets did I have? Oh, so how like, many orders did I get? Instead of writing each individual order out. Right. If it's a party, we'll summarize the party on one line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Great question. So if it's a party, we'll say that Megan, you were the hostess. We invested three hours of time. There was six guests there. There were five women that ordered. Number of bookings, we'll say two additional women booked their own parties. And then number of skincare sets sold, we'll say three. And then under that first column where it says skincare class sales, we add up all five of the pink tickets of the ladies that ordered, and that added up to $400. And so we write 400 on that line. Where did it say the skin class? Sk very first one, under sales. Skin care classes, facials, or color appointments. That's where we write the total from the party. It is. So you'd write $400 there. Uh, okay. Yep. Great. Am I forgetting anything? Where do they find this weekly accomplishment sheet? Yeah. Do I, let's see. Do I have it on my sheet? You can find this to print out off of Mary Kay In Touch. One of the great things to know is when you log into InTouch, in the upper right-hand corner, there's a search box. Anytime you're looking for something, you can literally just type in Weekly Accomplishment Sheet, and the company will link you right to it. So that's a great place to find it. Otherwise, I have it on my website as well, under lynda-gates.com and then training, and then money management. All right, and then you can click on weekly accomplishment sheet. So on In Touch, you can find it under business tools, and then weekly accomplishment. All right, so once you, I know you guys just opened your starter kits. Has either one of you sold anything yet? Has somebody said, I want this? Okay, so as soon as you sell your first item, now you know how to fill out the receipt and then how to fill out the weekly accomplishment sheet that goes right along with it. When you turn in your first one to me, then I have a prize for you, and that is a Mary Kay checkbook cover. So then, you know, one of the things I recommend for new consultants is to keep your finances separate from your personal finances. So go to a bank, open up a free checking account, just put your name on it, don't put anything mm -hmm. Mary Kay, just put your name, mm -hmm. and you're just opening a personal checking account. You're not opening a business one. Those have a fee associated with it. And then when you sell products, the money goes into that account. When you need to order products, the money comes from that account. And you're keeping your Mary Kay completely separate. All right? So turn in your first one to me, and then I'll give you your Mary Kay checkbook cover. All right, any questions? Great. The next one, page 21 in the magazine, talks about creating a dream board. You know, I love this part because, you know, most of you have come into Mary Kay because you're looking to um, add some income, you know, to an area of your life. Maybe there is um, a vacation you want to go on. Maybe there's something you want to buy for the house. You know, we all have different things. So I love to keep my goals and my pictures in front of me because that motivates me to work. And so this section of the magazine talks about creating your own dream board. On page 23, now it's talking about your starter kit, all the good products that came in your starter kit. One of the first things I would encourage you girls to do is just unpack it and play and have fun because I want you to get familiar with all the products in the starter kit. You know, there's over $410 of products in there, and those have been given to you as demos, as business tools. So start using them yourself, and like, oh, I've never tried that formula of cleanser. Let me try that for two or three days and see how it feels on my skin. Now I want to try the other formula of cleanser. Let me try that for two or three days, because girls, that's gonna give you knowledge. When you talk about it, oh, I'm oily skin, but I tried this cleanser and this mm -hmm. is how it felt. Or I'm dry skin and I tried this cleanser and this is how it felt. So try and play with everything in your starter kit. So oil-free eye makeup remover, mascaras, all these different formulas of foundation. 
and then color color cards. So try some different color looks and see what you see what you think because that's going to help you be more knowledgeable once you've tried the products yourself. Um, I'm going to skip over inventory because we're going to come back and do a whole explanation of that, you know, at once. And I'm going to go down to page 26 and talk about booking. So um, on my website, click on training and click on booking and you'll find several documents that will give you the words on what to say. You know, when I talk about booking, I'm just meaning um, you're wanting to call somebody up and say, have you ever tried these products? You know, I'd love to come over and, and offer them to you. Put them on your face. Practice. That's a booking. Whether it's an individual facial or whether it's two people, we call that a double facial. Or whether it's three or more people, we call that a class or a party. And then we give the hostess some, you know, re some rewards, some hostess credit, you know, some free products for introducing us you know, to two or more of her friends. So that's what a booking is. It's an opportunity for us to sell products. And when you book your first eight appointments, facials, double facials, classes, you book eight, I have another prize for you, and it's a Mary Kay Jewel calculator. Mm, jewels. Yeah, very cute. Um, and when five of those parties, you've held the first five of them, you're going to get a beautiful triple strand pearl bracelet. Very, very pr pretty. And when you book your grand opening, your grand opening is your first Mary Kay party where you invite all of your friends and family. Um, that's when I give you your Mary Kay money bag. And that just gives you a tool to keep organized with your petty cash, with pens, with sales tickets and profile cards. So those are three of the prizes that you can get. On page 31, it talks about hostess credit. Hostess credit is a way that we thank our hostesses for offering, you know, us, their friends and family as new customers. And so we want to pay them back by giving them some free products. So here's an example of a hostess credit that the company, you know, recommends. You'll also find on my web page, um, under training and under booking, a whole bunch of different ideas on bookings. So on hostess credits, all different kinds. So I want you to pick a hostess credit that excites you and is fun and that you want to promote. But that's the neat part about being independent beauty consultants is that we can all choose to do our own thing. Um, on page 32, it will give you some scripts. What do I say? You know, what do I say to someone to tell them I'm a brand new beauty consultant? You know, this seems awkward. It seems unnatural. How do I introduce myself? Well, they have given you word for word what to say. So just read it over. Check it out. Um, you'll probably also want to introduce yourself with texting. You know, Megan, with you being a college student, you might, you know, have lots of friends and texting is just the way to go. So we have texting scripts about Hey, girl, you want to get together, you know, for a free facial? I've actually already texted one of my cheer friends. Because she, we were doing cheer pictures, and she's like, I hate wearing makeup. And was like, and she's allergic to it. And that was one of my questions that I was going to eventually ask Carly about our yep. hyperallergenic. Yep, everything. Um, and I go, hey, I'd really like to do a facial. And she is excited about it. So. Yep, that is so great. So not only on this, on my website will you find you know, more scripts, but you'll also find texting scripts, all kinds of tools that will help you with your business. Um, page 37 talks about holding the party. Um, one of the things that I recommend to new consultants is come and see one of my parties. Come along with me. Come along and see one of your recruiters' parties. And then, you know, ask some hotshot in the unit and go see one of her parties. Because you'll develop your own style, but it's great to observe at least three other parties just to get an idea of, you know, how to do this. And in your starter kit is a DVD. And so it's a DVD of a skincare class, of a party. So you can watch that time and time again just to get more confident on what it is that we say and what it is that we do at a party. So one more prize that goes along with parties is when you do 15 faces in 15 days, 
That's called a perfect start, and you get a little pin that says PS. When you do double that, and you do 30 faces in 30 days, it's bejeweled, and it's filled with crystals. And it's still a PS pin, but it's all sparkly. So what's neat about this challenge is you get to tell me when you want to start. So um, it doesn't start the day that you signed your agreement, or it doesn't start the day that your starter kit came. You know, you can wait until your grand opening, and then you book some facials and parties, and the date of the first one, we can say go. And when you do 15 faces in the 15 days, then you earn that pin. Okay. So could you have a party and do like six or seven faces? Absolutely. In one day? Absolutely. Okay. And then three or four days later, maybe you do a facial and you do one more face. And then two days later, you have another party where you do six faces, you know, or seven faces, and you're done. You just earned your PS pin. So it's just 15 different faces in 15 days. Okay. All right. Page 48. This tells about our customer service. So in Mary Kay, I think we just do an amazing job with customer service. We have what's called our preferred customer program. And that is where you can type in your customer's name and address into the Mary Kay computer and you can enroll them every quarter to receive a lookbook. So this catalog cost me 70 cents for the company to mail out. They put a sample inside of it. They put a personal message on the back of it from me with my phone number. Um, it's amazing. If I tried to do this myself, it would cost me a couple dollars. Mm -hmm. But the company will do it for us for 70 cents. So all you have to do is enter your customers' names and numbers under um, Mary Kay in Touch, under business tools, and then the preferred customer program. All right, and then every quarter you can choose who you want to send the books out to. The company keeps your names and addresses in there. So I just do quick enroll because I want to enroll it to all of my customers. If I have new ones throughout the quarter, I add them as they go along. And if I need to change some addresses, I can even change some addresses if somebody moves. But this is one of the best things to tie your customers into you just for excellent customer service. So this is called the Preferred Customer Program, and it's the mailing of the lookbook. And then the following two months, we do something that's called a month two mailer. And what's neat about this is it looks different all the time, all depending on what new products come out. But they'll do a cute little fun brochure in month two that just highlight a few products. And so depending on what the products are, you might choose to mail this to just some of your customers. You might choose to mail it to all of your customers, or you might choose to mail it to none of your customers. But this one only costs 40 cents, and it is a great, cute, I mean the graphics are always just excellent, um, great little mailer that keeps your business in front of your customers, okay? Um, let's see, also in this area, we have um, preferred customer program, we have um, the customer delivery service. So this is pretty neat. Um, say I have a customer who lives in Texas and she orders product. I can literally take the products off of my shelf, go down to the post office and mail it to her. That's one option. Or we have a program called Customer Delivery Service, CDS. And that is, I can go online, I can order the products straight from the company, and have the company ship them straight to my customer. They'll let me choose a sample, choose a book. You know, the shipping is $5, and that's what the shipping I would pay is. Mm -hmm. Anyway, by the time I go to the post office, mm -hmm. I've got that same cost in it. And their product orders come in this adorable box that when they open it up, it says, hello, gorgeous. I like that. You know, I love it. So anytime, and this is also great when you're on vacation. Say I'm in spring break, you know, in Florida mm -hmm. for the whole week, and one of my customers from back home calls and needs this, this, and this. You know, and I'm not going to be home for 10 days. I can just hop on my computer, order the products, have the company send it to her. She's got her products within two days. These are the first products that the company sends out. 
So they'll literally have them in two days, three days at most. So that's a wonderful service to take advantage of for excellent, you know, um, delivery too for our customers. Um, when you enroll, here's another prize. When you enroll 20 customers in the first lookbook mailing of the lookbook, you're going to get a Mary Kay keychain from me. So enrolling 20 customers. You also, on page 52, have the option of setting up a Mary Kay website. I love this. It's a professional website, all maintained by Mary Kay, has all the products, has all the information on it. All I do is I pay $50 a year to have the website. Mine is www.marykay.com slash lgates. And so you'll get a after marykay.com, pick your name, your initials, whatever you want. But for a brand new consultant, they let you set up a website for 50% off. So for $25 for the first year, you can have a Mary Kay website if you choose to. Totally optional. If you have a lot of people that are out of town or a lot of people that are tech savvy and like to shop online, then I'd recommend getting a website. If you don't think you have that many people that would use it, then hold off and wait. What happens if you do the $25 website and then you decide it's not for you, it's not for your clients, do you have to continue paying the $50 every year? Nope. You'll get a renewal notice at the end of one year that says, Megan, do you want to enroll for your website again? And so you either enroll and then it'll be $50 or else you choose not to re-enroll and it doesn't cost you anything. You just let okay. it run out. So that's great. But one thing, I believe in the website so much that I'm going to reimburse you by giving you one of our new brush sets. You know, that's a $55 brush set. So my cost on that is like $27.50. And so that will cover the cost of you doing your website for $25. That's how much I believe in advertising my business by having a website. Um, you girls know that all the products in Mary Kay are 100% satisfaction guaranteed. So at any time you sell a product to one of your customers and for some reason they don't like it, you have the backing of the company, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. You literally go online to product replacement, say the customer's name and what she didn't like about it and the price and then the company lets you pick out something else for the exact same price and they replace it. So never at any time is your customer, you know, unsatisfied or has products laying in their drawer that they don't like because Mary Kay Corporate backs it up with this 100% satisfaction guarantee pledge. I love it. And, you know, I don't abuse it, you know. I'm just so thankful that the company, you know, does that. But if, if something's breaking them out, if something is the wrong formula, or mm -hmm. they do not like that shade of lipstick, you know, then that's when we want to return it to the company and let the company know. And then, almost done here, um, page 59 just lets you know about all of our products. And this is a fun section to flip and learn about products. We also have online at marykayintouch.com product central. And you can click on there at any time and learn and get product education about the products. You can find out the ingredients that are in everything. Somebody may come up to you and say, oh, I'm allergic to witch hazel. Well, you can literally go online in the ingredient search, click on witch hazel, and find every ingredient that has witch hazel in it. Or you can go online and find everything that has salicylic acid in it or benzoyl peroxide. You know, you name the ingredient and you can search for it. So that's a very nice tool to use. Um, page 84 talks about team building. One of the neat things about this company is that, you know what, you have seen an opportunity here and you have wanted to join and so now you have the same opportunity to pass it on. And I think you'll find quickly that you'll have your first team member underneath of you. Somebody will say, Megan, you're doing that? I want to do that too. You know, <laughs> tell me about it. You know, and you'll be like, well, it costs $100. You get your starter kit, and then this is what you do. We were on our way to this weekend. We had cheer camp, and Kylie Renfrew. Yes. Um, one of the girls was talking about not being able to find a job, and she goes, you should do Mary Kay. And Absolutely. she's like, oh, I might have to take you up on that. And she's 
seriously thinking about and it. And all, all it was was like, and it happened to be in the right place at the right time. Yep, absolutely. So don't hesitate if somebody says, oh, you're doing Mary Kay now? I might like to do that. You know, send them to me. We'll help you share the information. I have a hotline number that they can dial in to get more information. I have videos on my website where they can click and get more information. We've got information in your starter kit that you can hand them and give them more information. You can always invite them to one of our weekly meetings because we always cover information about the company and share there. Or Carly and I will go and we'll meet you, you know, at the coffee shop or at McDonald's and sit down and talk to you and give you more information. So when you, one of the challenges that we give is, you know, pick three people right away off of all of that brainstorming list of customers. Pick three of them. Who do you think you would like to share this company with? And when we sit down and share the information with them, it doesn't matter whether they say yes or whether they say no. You just won your first prize, and it's a pair of pearl earrings, and they're gorgeous. When you share with three more people, then you just won a matching pearl bracelet. So now you've shared with a total of six, and you've got earrings for the first three, bracelet for the second three. Well, I'm telling you girls, out of six people, your odds are that one of them is going to say, yeah, I want to do this. And so if one of them joins, then you get a matching pearl necklace. So that's one of your team building challenges. And I challenge you to do this in your first month of business. You know, don't hesitate. Don't wait. You know, let's see, you know, who can move up right away still in September and get that done. Now, what it, so Katie's my... Katie, your sister, is your recruiter. Recruiter. So... If mm -hmm. I recruited somebody, what would yep. she become to them? Um, nothing. Nothing. Because Mary Kay is not a pyramid company. Okay. And Mary Kay, I recruit the girls underneath me, and Mary Kay pays me a love check because I sponsored them into the company. So would Carly be their director? Carly is still their director because she's the head of your family. Like, I'm the director, I'm the head of my family. Mm -hmm. So if Michelle recruits somebody in, Michelle is the recruiter. She gets the commission on them, but I'm the director because I'm the head of the family that trains them, educates them, works with them, you know, helps them get off to a great start. So, okay. Great question. Um, page 90 wraps up our STAR Consultant Program. This is a program in Mary Kay where we recognize our top sellers. When you average selling $300 a week, week in, week out, week in, week out, you do $300, that is called being a Sapphire Star Consultant, and Mary Kay has a prize brochure every quarter, and you get to pick a prize. Now, the quarter just started a couple days ago, so you guys are right here at the beginning of the quarter. So if you turn $1,800 in the next three months, the quarter we're in now is September 16th, through December 15th. So that three month period, you get to pick one of these prizes. It can be this gorgeous necklace and earring set. I like that purse. It could be this awesome purse. It could be this beautiful, um, it's a fragrance warmer. Oh. And you got a choice of three different styles to choose from. So, or you can choose a $25 voucher from MK Connections. And that's a company that we use to get our business supplies, to get our business cards, you know, different things. If you do more in the quarter and you actually do $2,400 in the quarter, then you get an even nicer prize. This quarter, it happens to be a purse or a nice set of eight steak knives or a $40 Mary Kay voucher. A set of steak knives? Steak knives. That's the company, the, it is. Because if, you know, my husband has worked, you know, how many years for corporate America and the things that he's been rewarded has been an ink pen, or it's been a clock, or it's been a turkey on Thanksgiving. I knew you were going to say an ink pen. You How know, funny. it's just been those type of things. But Mary Kay, when she created this program, she wanted to reward women for the job well done. And so you will find that this brochure is all things that women love, whether it's jewelry, whether it's things for the home, whether it's purses. Whether it's, you know, new knives. I don't know about you guys, but I haven't had a new set of knives 
except when I got married, you know, mm-hmm. 23 years ago. So that would be a really neat gift, yeah, you know, I, I for me. I probably have to put those in storage for a yeah, few years because yeah. I don't need new nine. No, but you're a young college student who's not at that stage, um, you know. So it, the so. first set you said was 1800 Yes. So and that's so that averages a quarter is averages what selling three hundred dollars each week. Okay, and so you break that down one more time. How do you sell three hundred dollars each week? By having one party, you know, one party of six girls will probably hit three hundred dollars a week. By having a facial or a double facial, you know, you'll probably hit three hundred dollars a week. So you can determine the workload that you need. Some weeks, you know, now that I've been in business for years, some weeks I'll have $300 just in reorders. So, yeah, you never know. But averaging $300 a week and then you're a star consultant at the end of the quarter and you get to pick a price. Love it. And lastly, on page 92, Mary Kay has a phenomenal car program. When you continue building your team, you know, we talked about getting your first team member and we give you a strand of pearls. When you build up to three team members, you are a star team builder and you get to wear a red jacket. When you're at five, you're a team leader. So I got Katie a strand of pearls. You did. Well, she didn't do it within her first, Uh, you know, 30 days. But she gets an enhancer around her pin tonight uh, that she's a new senior consultant moving up in the company. Well, we'll pin her when she's here next. Uh Yeah. So five, you're a team leader, you keep moving up, eight, you're a future director, and with 14 people on your team, you can win your first car. Currently in the company, it's a Chevy Cruze. Now there's two qualifications that go along with it. One is hitting 14 people, and then the other one is doing the production that goes along with it. An average of 5,000 of team production, you know, over four months in a row. You can continue to move up and win, you know, one of the director cars, which can be a Toyota Camry or a Chevy Equinox, and then you can continue to move up and earn the pink Cadillac, and that's where our unit is right now. We're two weeks away from qualifying for our next car, our next pink Cadillac, and so this is the goal that we're working on. So I tell you, we've won nine free cars in my journey in Mary Kay. We've won a pink Cadillac before. Lots of, you know, Saturn Views, Equinoxes, Chevy Cruises, lots of Grand Dams, you know, other cars. Our, our family's been blessed with over $100,000 of car payments and insurance that I have not made, that Mary Kay has made for me. So this car program is absolutely wonderful. So that's why I say don't hesitate to share the company information and to sponsor somebody in on your team because it'll quickly, you know, move you up. How do, like, if I'm not close to getting my car, obviously starting out, I'm not. Right. But Carly is. Right. So is there ways for me to help Carly? Um, the car is only done by you and your team. Okay. Now, once when you're a consultant, but now that Carly is a sales director, now she can earn a car, you know, based on her unit. So, yeah, are you helping her out? You're helping her out absolutely by working your business, by ordering product, selling product, by recruiting new people in, you know, that place their first orders and start their business. So, absolutely. So, but as a consultant, you earn it on your personal team. Got it? Um, the team building goal. Yeah. You said that was the first 30 days or? Yes. Okay. Your first 30 days of your business is when we go for pearls of sharing. Okay. And so you share with three people to get the earrings, three more to get the bracelet, and one signs, and you've got your necklace. And so that's your first oh, you 30 have to days. Share. They don't have to sign up. No. The, okay. The earrings and the bracelet, you just have to share. Okay. One signs up, and then you get the matching necklace. Okay. Yep. Just share. Good. What other questions? That was a lot, I know, but I try to do a quick summary because you can always go back now and review this sheet, and you can always go back and read the magazine, you know, to let it sink in again because I know you don't retain everything the first time, 
but it's just a good quick overview. And then, you know, there'll be a video of this on the website. So you can literally go back to the website and rewatch the training of Start Something Beautiful and hear it all again. All right? Now, do you do, yeah. do you, say we do facials? Yes. Are you there when we do facials? 